Hello everyone, this is Olalu Monokola from Lamp Media Touch. Today, I want to show you how you can add this lens flare overlay on your design in CorelDRAW. This is what I'm referring to as the lens flare overlay. This is it, or some might call it light flare. So you can use it to make your design pop or add more life to your design so how do i get this one in my design the reason why this is important is because most of the lens layer you will see online even with black background and you need to understand how to manipulate these images so that you can apply them on your design like that now this text have made this text before and not long ago i designed this i want the tutorial to be short so i've pre-made this one i'll just go straight to the addition of the lens layer to make it pop out if you want to know how i came about this design in color draw it's just the arrangement of text and some design on the text just let me know in the comment section i'm here to help you in your beginner journey as current draw user so let's now go to fetch the lens flare that i used for my design so what you need to do is to go to the internet go to your web browser and type this keyword gold flare so if you are looking for any color of flare, you can type it there. You can type gold lens flare. So you can type it there and all these images will come up. This is the shortest way to get flare from the internet that image talks. So if you click on images, it will load more of lens flare for you and most times if you go deeper into the websites that are displayed here these are websites that make available all this flare for you either free or you can make payment for them but i want to take you through the process whereby you can just use them freely if you are not really looking out for high quality images if it is just for screen display it's not going for larger display so you can still make use of this flare directly from here so let me just pick one and this is the first one i use this lens flare is from free peak if you go deeper into the into the free peak website you might see whether this image is for free or not for for now i'm using this image for free because it's just being copied on the google image search so the quality is not yet there so what i will just do now is to copy this one directly so right click on the image then click on copy image then switch back to color draw then you paste the image there so below this image there is a watermark so try to use the shape tool to crop off the watermark area then it remains this section that will be useful for us so the next thing you will do is to convert this image to bitmap by the time we add effect on it it will return a transparent image for us but if you add that effect that we are going to apply now to it directly it might not work another reason why this tutorial is very very important is that there is an old way of doing it that is wrong by adding transparency to all the side add transparent convert to this map add transparent convert to this map that one take a lot of time but this one i'm showing you is shorter and direct and give you an excellent result so what you do next is to is to go to bitmap convert to bitmap so since this is just for screen display i will choose rgb so rgb then you ensure that this section is 
strict transparent background is very very important so you click ok so this image has been converted to rgb image mode you can see because we did not buy this image the quality is not really there so if you need to make use of high quality image lens you can go deeper into the website that is selling then you purchase then you make use of them it will make your work look very nice and neat so the next thing i'm going to do to this image flare is to apply this effect you go to effect on the menu bar here then you click on creative then pigeon so once you click this dialog box will come out you can see it has quickly applied immediately so what we need to do is it's that it will hard feather around your image so there are different shapes of feather that will be applied we have ellipse we have circle we have uh, rectangle we have square well i think this ellipse will work well with what we are doing because the image is extended horizontally so the ellipse shape is also extended horizontally so i think this one works for what we are doing so you choose ellipse so it's just the shape in which the feather around the center image will take so and this one is the adjustment the offset is to adjust how far the feather is to the edge like now if i'm reducing the offset you can see that the image is fading inside if i increase the value the image is fading outside and more of the edges is being refilled but i will not want these edges to be refilled so i want it to be faded out much and very well so i have to reduce this value very well so that the image begin to fade out from the center or close to the center and this one is how much of fading that you want to apply so the two can be set to give you the results that you desire so if i put much of fading most of the images my the center images might fade away so i think it's okay like this so once you are done in your own system you have to click this preview button so that you'll be able to preview what you are doing instantly as you are adjusting here so you'll be able to see what you are doing on this side so the next thing you will do now is to click ok but looking at it we can still not see the major part of our image so the next thing you will add now is very interesting you just go to the transparency tool here you click on the transparency and you come straight you don't need to add any of this transparency effect again just go to the blending option that is merge mode this is how the color of the transparency the layer blends with the color of the underlying object so how do you want this image at the top to blend with the image below so you just go straight to screen so what screen will do is that it will take away every dark color of the overlaying layer and match the lighter color to the underlying layer so once i click on screen you can see now the overlay has matched so you can now go back and select pick two then you resize or reposition the flare to where you want it to be now you could see that there is some extra extension of the original overlay image that we have here you can simply use the shape tool to cut that one off so that it will not add to the final size of your design so as you are doing that you are done let's note that this is where the image ended if you zoom very well you see that there are no traces that this is where the image ended because of the effect that we are choosing the other time it has faded all the edges away so it means that you have to ensure that the edges were faded away very well so that by the time you reduce you reduce the overlaying image it will not be showing on your 
entire design so that's it you can add more flare through this method because most of the flare that will be brought to you immediately when you search will be, I'll be having black under them because they were transparency and those that were displaying them want you to see what it really look like so it, that's why they are all in black like this so anyone you pick just apply the effect and you are good to go so i hope you've learned something please if there's anything you notice or you want me to know then kindly let me know in the comment section please subscribe like it and share to someone that you think needs this thank you very much bye bye